Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We are Lady Lucia. Our previous husband died, but we have a new one. We have uh, Lord Branson Flowers, Bastard of the Oak Cart line. And uh, yes, we're basically just fingers crossed for a son. And that's our main situation that we're in. We're also building a few buildings and, you know, watching things happen. Also try and kill a rival, which just popped right then. That's perfect. My co-conspirator Torrin has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that it will soon dig its fangs into Sir Clayton. Just don't point that thing at me. Yes, yes. Let's see if it works. Hope it does. Elect of succession in the reach. Aren't you optimistic? Not you. This, this guy, he's very optimistic. He al he's also worships the, the drowned gods and has been drowned himself. Yeah, he's, he's also a lunatic. He's an interesting fellow. Um, does anyone else want to join him? No. I mean, we could join him and actually give quite a lot of power, but we're content, so we're not going to. Elective would benefit us quite a bit, though. Success! The snake performed its duty with a plum and pumped Sir Clayton full of its deadly venom. Unfortunately, the serpent was caught and the cellar revealed my complicity. Oh no, we're dishonorable. Ah. Minus one diplomacy, minus ten general opinion, minus some piety. Good. But bad, we can also gain Deceitful. Ooh. And did we get it? We got Deceitful. We are now Deceitful. But it appears our rival is dead. We have some more rivals, though. Hmm, maybe we're get we've got a taste for this thing. Maybe we'll start just killing them. All we have Inchfield. I mean, we could just start killing people. The air... Wait. Oh, this is going to go out of our realm. Wait, is this under our realm? Inchfield's here. Hey, this will actually go out under our realm. Why, why did I not get no notified of this? Like, it usually warns us very long, like a very long time in advance when it's actually going to go outside our realm. That's very annoying. We kill her child. Wait, let's look at succession. So let's look at succession in the dynasty tree. We were to say kill her child. Who does it go to next? It then goes to Lenise Merriweather. Okay. Who is also a ri We're rivals to both of these people. Oh, wow. Okay. Then who does it go to? I think... Then it goes to Lyra. Then, if they were all dead, say it would go... Back up here to the first male. And follow their house. To Leah? I think so, yeah. So then he goes to Scoria Cave, our cousin. I see a plan forming. Fantastic plan. There's also a Buckwell in there. I think these people's days are numbered. Prepare for the murder spree. We have got a, a taste. A small taste of what it's like to murder large groups of people. And we're just going to start doing it. Is that everybody listed? Elise Egerton, Lenise Merriweather, Elleria Farling, and uh, Elleria Mes Merriweather. This is what we do while we're content. Hello, Elise Egerton. Actually, right now, if we were to kill her, her daughter would inherit. It's a different dynasty, but as long as he doesn't die first... Oh wait, actually that's, that's, that, that's not going to pass outside our realm. We can still kill her though. Let's not kill her daughter though. The daughter's fine. She, she, uh, the other rival may, may also be on the dead list, but we'll see. Um, Ulri? Your days are numbered. Ooh, what plot do we want to do? Fabricate evidence of treason. Incite her to revolt. Kidnap or kill. I think we'll just go for kill. Let's uh, invite as many people in as we can. Lady Cyrilla of the Westlands has served the Lordship of Branston from uh, Sir Garward the Wicked. Oh, good. So that's the Rock versus the Riverlands war over. Uh, Lady Lucia Fosaway, I hereby invite you to attend the tourney of Honeyholt, where the best knights and lords of the region will invite you to compete. Um, this is below me. Yeah, we're not going to turn up. Sorry. Don't want to. Don't, don't really feel a tournament. 
Freya. My co-conspirator sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn on a path. Lady Ulri will travel with her escort once they are seated at the table. Kaboom! Right. Freya, you're doing good work here. Good work, indeed. And... Did she go boom? Success! Lady Ulri perished in the manure explosion. There was no trace of my complicity to be found amongst the rubble. <laughs> Ulri went out with a bang. Well, it's your turn, other rival. You shall also die. Although, actually, it's much more difficult to kill you. We'll spy on you, and we'll try and kill you. Yeah, let's do that. See who else will join in. I guess some people will join in for some money. Hmm, not a lot of plot power here. We'll get a tiny bit of plot power. We'll, we'll uh, send a gift, and then we'll get them in. Because the plot can fire if you have one person in. 100% is the one you want to get, but... It can fire if you have one person in. Aye, my trusted snoops and sneaks will keep a very close eye on the activities of Lenise Merriweather. A close eye indeed. I wonder what secret she is hiding. Yes. New Lord Commander on the wall. Night gathers and my watch begins that shall not end until my death. I'll take no wife, hold no lands, find no children. I wear no crowns, win no glory, I shall live and die at my post. And so in the darkness, watch on the walls. And the fire that burns against the cold, the light that brings the dawn, the horn that will break that wakes the sleepers, the shield that guards the realms of men. That's my life and honour to the Night's Watch for this night and all nights to come the Lord Commander has died. Uh, Morbald Manderly will replace him. Okay. Well, hope you do well. Let's uh, see how our plot's gonna end up. So 75%, we need like another 25% to make it a more feasible plot. We can try it though. Arwen Marbrand has died infirm and bedridden. Okay. Oh, you would like us to... Ah, to the proud Lady Lucia, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I would like to offer you the honour of a place on my council as spymaster. I bet you join me in Middlebury, and with haste, so you may serve the Reach loyally. Yours, uh, Lady Paramount Alry Tyrell. Well, of course. How, how are we to refuse her? Report... Uh, you're set to report some new battle that his charity work on your behalf is proceeding well. The poor being fed and your pious standing has improved. We can still do much good. Yes. So, I would very much like to be uh, doing something with this uh, sneakiness. It's not a lot we can do, though. I found out nothing new and useful about Linny's Merryweather, but my shady informant pointed out there's nothing preventing me from making stuff up. The bigger the lie. Well, of course, we're going to start some vicious rumours. Midget shoes? No, Liness is having an affair with a feisty goat. Yes, I don't think she found out. Lords of Old Town changed tax law. Very important uh, tradition in Old Town. You, the leader of Old Town must always change tax law. Lord Ryan of the Dornish Marches has usurped the title Lordship of Night Song from Lord Andrin of Broken Arm. And he usurped the title of Castle of Spotswood from Aaron Karen. And Lord Ryan usurped the High Lordship. Okay. After study after many years studying the Seven Pointed Star, your Aunt Ellen has been deemed worthy to be counted amongst the clergy of the Faith of the Seven. Um no heir of your dynasty. She decided to join the clergy. Ellen! What's going on there, Ellen? Why did you want to be a silent sister? Okay. We need a son. We may have been in this situation before. I think it might be time to change our ways back to seduction in a couple of years if things haven't gone well. Hopefully we don't die. That's really our main, that's our main goal right now. We also need a new captain of the household guard. We never replaced him. Uh, how about Leona? Leona Willem, because you're our only option. That's your official title. Leona Willem, Captain of the Household Guard, because you're our only option. Well, she'll she'll do a fine job. My snoops overheard Lenise Merriweather, as she told shocking lies about her rightful liege. How shall I use this information? Well, I will, of course, inform her liege. Lord Mellus of Daring Downs was grateful and upset about the evidence I provided against Lenise Merriweather. She has been publicly denounced and humiliated. Muhahaha. Yes. 
Well done, us. Lady Lucia Fosaway, who invited you to attend the tourney of Rosford for the best knights and lords of the beach, and we invited you to compete for guards Holgar Caswell. Well, of course we will attend, as he is our friend, as it tells us here. It shall be entertaining. We'll do it as a favour to him. We'll bestow our grace upon his uh, lowly tourney. Um, okay. Lady Paramount Ulrey of the Reach has declared the Reachman War for Sir Lums Claim on Crackhall and Edward of the Rock. Sir Lums Claim, uh, claim on Crackhall. Is that up here? Wait, where? Oh, there's, there's Crackhall. Held by uh, Abrax currently. Okay. So this is 31,000 men versus 69,000 men. Lady Lucia. The realm was in a state of war, and as such, I, as your liege Lady Paramount, command that you provide men to support my armies. Regards, Aloy of House Tyrell, Lady Paramount of the Reach. Your liege is a rebel leader? Wait. Her opinion of us goes down because we're a traitor. We join King... Oh, it's because he's an Emperor-level title. I see. He's an Emperor-level title, so it bugged out the Mega War. Um, the rebel's cause is just. Backed liege. Yeah. That's where we're going. That's fine. It's not really a rebel cause. Like, our liege is stronger and is effectively in the same position. Uh, we'll keep spying on her. I'm sure she's up to something. We've already found out so much. And, of course, she might decide to go wandering the realm for a lark. That That's... Uh, it's been known to happen. So, Dennis Fuzzaway and Sir Gotha Fuzzaway were the next to joust in the list of made tilts and broken lances. Sir Gotha was eventually a horse leaving Sir Dennis to be declared the winner. Ah, uh, two people from that house. No, it's not on. Reading like rabbits, they are. After many tilts over several days, only two knights remained undefeated. Sir Dennis and Sir Franklin faced each other in the final joust. After many tilts of final knights who were jousting, Sir Franklin was eventually on the horse, leaving Sir Dennis to be declared the winner. Um, yeah, Sir Franklin's not really that good at jousting. I think that probably explains it. Um, what have we got here? Just random people. Ah, we succeeded! She died! Of, of her health, but... I'm sure our stress that we were adding to our situation had some effect. After much food, wine, jousting and combat, Lord Holgar Caswell's tourney finally came to an end. It was a fine spectacle. Um, yeah, I guess our plot's done. Cool, we did that. There is no point spying on Lenise anymore, considering she is dead. Time to turn my attentions elsewhere. Well, um, I mean, we have no rivals left. That was fun for a while. Now what do we want to do? Um, we probably want to change our focus in three years, but there's not really anyone we want to spy on. Oh wait, how is he our... How is he our heir? How does that even work? Is one of his grandparents, like, one of our grandparents? Maybe it's great-grandparents? We're going to have to look at the chart on this one. Okay. So what's succession law? Let's let's start with that. What is succession law? Succession law is currently um primogenitor. Okay. So it goes from us. Ellen is in is eligible, which actually also makes her daughter not let not able to have it, but she's also in the Westlands, so she still can't have it. Then we go up to Janie. Janie has Gwen. Who could be legible? Why is he not? I went back one generation. I found somebody who's able to inherit. Oh wait, no, this is the veil. The veil can't inherit. Uh, Carolyn is still a woman, so she probably can't inherit. So it goes back one. It goes to Lucia the Spider, the original Lucia. Um, it goes over to Amara and Asera. They're all dead. Okay, it goes back to Harlan the first. Tanya, Tanya's children, they're all dead. Simon's children, they're all dead. Alia's children, they're all dead. Frula's children are all dead. Okay, then it goes back to Simon. Simon um, would go back this way to Amena. All dead, all dead, all dead, all dead. Then it goes back to Garth. Now Garth, it would start here. Melora, Othar, Quentin, Colin, Hector. Simrel, all dead. Elise, all dead. Quentin, Tanya, all dead, all dead, all dead, all dead, all dead. Ah, here's the link. 
Where's you found the link? You go to Quentin, then you get to Meros. Now, if we look at Meros on his chart, um, it doesn't really lead us anywhere, but it would then inherit from him. I believe it could then inherit back to one of the other fault. All right, that's, I think that's where it goes. I think that's where the link is. I could be wrong, but I think there's somewhere in there is where the link is. And that's how he has a claim. Well, that's how he is now our heir. That is a ridiculous luck. Also, that is another Fozaway. Leads so much uh, into it. Lord Albert II of Harrenhal died after a period of illness. Well, I guess that probably stopped the Harrenhal War, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Although, was there a Harrenhal War or am I thinking of the other campaign? I think I might have been thinking of the other campaign. Okay. Um, yeah. No heir of our dynasty. That's that's not good. It's not good at all. And you really need to get on with this, um... This stuff. Jesters, minstrels, and acrobats, dancers, all have gathered to perform at the festival. Inviting noises, tempting scents, and alluring sights try to lure people to various stands, performers, and tents. Oh no, not again. Cynical, as always. Yes. Oh well. Castle Town was built. That's that's a positive. Now we are going to build the Stuarts Barracks, which will give us um, a little bit more troops. I always like to have more troops. We actually gain a huge amount of money. I am surely with child. My husband will be pleased. Okay, yes, it doesn't matter if it's a son or a daughter. As long as it's not uh, Red Falls away, we'll be fine. Right. Uh, we do have to wait nine months, though, to find out. And we have to survive nine months, and it has to not be stillborn. That's, uh... A lot of things need to line up. I mean, it's all on our side has the luck and the likeliness, but, you know, it might not. Lord Holbert the Prudent has usurped the lordship of Smithy Town for Lord Holbert of Golden Grove. Oh, okay, the William, the Willems are fighting between each other. I see. Oh, and the High Lordship. Oh, so he took his High Lordship back. I see. Well, that seems fair enough. Oh, right, that was actually a war that just was just won there. Yeah. Maris the Mild has founded the Maris uh, for the Iron Throne faction. Maris the Targaryen Drowned God. Um, I mean, I wish you luck. That would be interesting. If that was the official religion of the Iron Throne, that would turn everything upside down. Oh, we can righteously imprison Sir Raymond and Sir and Septon Renly. You're seeking to kill Sir Lucas Flowers. Who is Sir Lucas Flowers? I'm gonna need to go here. Um, who is it? It's um Lord Raymond. Lord Raymond. You're seeking to kill Sir Lucas Flowers. Lucas Hayswick. Uh okay. I don't really care. Renly, what are you doing? Attempting to buy loyalty? Wow. You're pretty boring people, actually. The late nights, the way my husband Branston to stop touching me, or even looking at me, and now whispers of him and the foul cow captain of the household guard Leona of the Rose Road, given the title because he was the only option. I can't take it anymore. Oh, we're going to confront the harlot. Leona acts shocked and denies having an affair with my husband Branston. I don't need proof when I have poison. Whoa, we'll see what happens. And... Um... The late nights, the way my husband Branston has stopped touching me or looking at me. Now the whispers of him and that Valkyrie, the captain. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I, I think... I don't think it was an event. I think we actually have to just try and kill her. If we're gonna do that. Oh, okay. We're gonna confront her again. Definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, you know what? We're actually just going to attack her, I think. Oh, okay then. Or pay to have them both what? Oh, we don't have the just attack them option. Well, I guess we'll just uh, try and poison her again. Oh, that was an event. I see. I watched from the gallery as the dirty adulteress Leona lay choking to death. Servants milling about trying to help. All in vain, of course. I hope my husband gets the hint. Yes. Well... Our rough nature is starting to show itself a little bit. Uh, should we get a new captain of the household guard? Hmm. There's nobody el eligible. That's, um, interesting. I guess we'll just leave it then. The position will stay unfilled for just now. 
You have a new heir. If you die, you will play as a a Adam. Follow the for way. Um, well, we filled the ambition to have a son. He's not going to be called a a Adam. He's going to be called... I don't know. Let's call him John. Let's name him from the father's side. That seems reasonable. John. You mean John falls away. And we'll let it go on just a little bit. We'll pick an ambition. Let's have the ambition. Let's get a lot of children. Let's have that as our ambition. And of course, we will. Um, what's the other one? We're we gonna hold the tourney. We can't. Oh, we're not at war. Well, we could hold it if we weren't at war. But we are at war. So I'm just gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. We have a son. We have murdered all of our rivals. Things are going well. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.